Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, both of my computers died uh, about a week apart, my iMac and my MacBook Pro, for totally different reasons. They had to go in for repair, but both of them came back completely wiped clean. This is not unexpected, it's just sort of how they, they give it back to you. So what I've got here is a computer where I've got to reinstall all my software, all my stuff. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, but that's okay because I also, in, in addition to Capture One and Photoshop and all the other stuff that I use, I have to recalibrate my monitors. And I figured the timing's pretty good because just a little bit ago, Data Color actually sent me this kit. This is called the Spider X Create Kit, and it's got some stuff in it. Now, I told them that I would review it and that I would talk about it, but I didn't tell them I would say anything nice. But since I haven't used it before, I'm going to set up the Spider X Pro. And so we'll go through it, show you how I set the whole thing up, and then I'm going to actually print a test print and compare it to my monitor to make sure that it's good and that I like it. So check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment and hit the notification button. Just do all that crap and you can follow along as I do this. So let's get started. Am I making an unboxing video? Oh, this is kind of an unboxing. <laughs> all right, so let's open it up and see what we got here. We've got a... All right, and all right, right on top, it's got a little thing that tells you where to go to download the software to do it. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll do that. Great success. Installation was successful. Super. Yes, I'll move that to the trash. All right, so here's the Spider X Pro software. Let's run it. I guess we better take the thing out of the box at some point. Let's do that. Okay, nice long USB cord. So that's going to be useful. And since I have an older iMac, I don't need to do anything to use this adapter because mine has a USB. But this kit does come with the adapter in case you have an, a newer uh, iMac or MacBook Pro or any computer that uses USB-C instead of older ones. So that's kind of neat. So, But I, I don't need that. But I do need that for my MacBook Pro which is a 2019, so it has just USB-C. But this is, this is kind of fine. So it does, does both. I like that. I like that it gives you the option with that kit. Incidentally, the price of the kit, I think, is $199. It comes with all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. Place the spider here. Okay, so let me pull this apart. And we hang it over that thing. And tilt that monitor back. So I've just got this on the face of the screen now. There we go. Okay, I'll take a picture of my phone so you guys can see what that looks like. Like off the thing like. Here you go. Just like so. Now you can see that on your screen. But now this is the part where you just kind of sit and it goes through all these different colors and it sort of reads it and then calibrates based on this. So this is sort of the longest main part of it. So maybe we'll speed this up a little bit. Finished. Okay. Now I'm going to name and save my new profile. So what I'll do is I'm going to call this Apple iMac, well, I know it's an Apple, I'm gonna call it iMac, like uh, 921, because that's, that's one it is right now. So if I go back and I look at my profiles, I'll know just another way for me to know how long ago I did it. And it's gonna remind me in one month. Okay, congratulations, my new profile has been created and your system will automatically use this new profile. Next. Okay, so now it's done calibrating and, and it's actually pretty neat. One of the things I like about this is that it creates an actual profile that, that works with the monitor. Some of these calibrators, what they do is they have a software that has to start up with the computer and it applies a profile over top. So you'll see it load the normal profile and then you'll see the color change. But this actually just creates a custom profile for the computer to use, which I, I like a lot. Now, looking at this before and after, um, I'm going to kind of see how my eye adjusts. I'm used to looking at this monitor a certain way. And so I'm going to hit switch and this is going to show me the before and it is a lot brighter and very blue green. And now I'm going to apply the calibrated view and it's a lot 
less contrasty and a lot warmer even there's some like magenta in here and it does look a lot different it looks weird at first and i know that when you calibrate a monitor for the first time it takes a little while for your eyes to adjust so for me the only way to be sure outside of how my brain is interpreting the color to make sure that what's on the screen matches what's going to print and then i'll edit something and then throw it to a phone throw it to another monitor one that's not calibrated and just to sort of get a sense of how these images are going to look to other people when I post them online and when I print them and deliver them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print an image that I know really, really well, one that I've worked on on the monitor and what was calibrated before, one that I printed before, one that I've seen in print. And I'm going to print it and then compare it to what I'm seeing on the screen. And as long as those colors are pretty close to accurate, pretty close to perfect, I'll be happy with that. Now, if you're going to compare a print to a monitor, especially a really bright backlit LED monitor it's never going to be exact so we're just looking for to make sure that like it's not too warm or too cool or too green or too magenta or too cyan or, or too amber so that's what we're going to look for right now so I'm going to go ahead and rip this print off this awesome gel shot that I did with an amazing client of mine and we'll see how that goes so I just sent that to the printer should take a couple of minutes to print and then I'll bring it back and take a look okay so I have the print out of the Pro 2100 it looks awesome. I'm really thrilled with how that turned out, but does it match the monitor? That's what we got to find out next. So I'm going to use my phone a little behind the scenes here. Boop. Let's see. I'm going to put this in some light so it's a little more fair. And check, there we go. Boom. There is the print. And there is the monitor. There is the print. And there is the monitor. That's pretty dead on, if I do have to say so myself. So I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> so it was an easy setup. I had everything in the box uh, that I needed. It wasn't didn't take too terribly long. It wasn't a whole lot of jargon that I didn't understand. And the color prints really, really accurate. So I guess that's pretty good. I'm going to keep using this. And I'll visit this again after I've been using it for a few weeks and a few months. And just to see how it holds up over time. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. If you have any questions about the device or the setup or anything like that throw those in the comments if you have a color calibrator that you like to use that really does it for you post those in the comments i'll go ahead and i'll put a link in the description of this to where you can check out this kit and i'll start to review the kit other pieces of it and stuff like that as we go as i use them you know i also have a family and run a pretty busy studio so i don't <laughs> i don't always have time to make all the videos that i want to make but this one i was doing this anyway and so I thought it'd be cool for you to follow along. So thanks for watching this. I hope it was a little bit helpful to you. Like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and share this with your, you know, your grandmother. And uh, don't forget I have a podcast. It's called Photobomb. It comes out every week. And I do it with my, uh, my good friend, Boo Ray Perry. And that's sort of like a pretty fun time. You should check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.